The Wall Street Journal quoted Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant as saying that, Israel will not give up its goals of destroying the Islamic resistance movement, Hamas, in the Gaza Strip and deterring other adversaries allied with Iran, such as the Lebanese Hezbollah. Gallant added that his main point of view is that Israel is fighting an axis, not what he described as a single enemy, noting that Iran is building its military power around Israel in order to use it. He stressed that the Israeli forces will turn from what he called the intensive maneuvering phase of the war towards various types of special operations. He warned that the next chapter of the conflict will last longer and stressed that Israel will not give up its goals of destroying Hamas, ending its control over Gaza and freeing the remaining detainees. Earlier, Gallant revealed Israel's plans for the next phase of its war in Gaza, as he said that it intends to adopt a new, more targeted approach in the northern part of the Strip, and a continuous pursuit of Hamas leaders in the south, adding that after the war, Hamas will not return to control Gaza, which is to be run by Palestinian bodies as long as there is no threat to Israel. Israeli officials said the shift to less intensive operations would be gradual and would take place at different times in different parts of Gaza. Israeli officers said that the most sensitive phase of the fighting would probably be around Rafah, claiming that Hamas fighters are sheltering there, supplied through tunnels from Egypt. Israeli reports have stated that Washington asked Israel to start implementing the third phase this week, while the occupation army announced over the past two days to reduce the number of its troops in Gaza, but did not officially approve the start of the implementation of this phase. According to sources, the third stage requires the Israeli army to move from the stage of intensive shelling to targeted shelling and the withdrawal of troops from inside Gaza to the border between the two sides, areas of the Gaza envelope.